Home security items are the emotional. I can't imagine a product more emotional than something that is going to protect your family from theft, possible harm, injury, emotional emotional um, scars, you know, from people being violated by losing their possessions, uh, um, even having injury to their 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 loved ones. So yes, it's very emotional. Home security products are very emotional, and they're getting more popular. Consumable. Nope. <laughs> Um, these products just aren't consumable. They do not consume. Um, you buy one, you don't need another one forever, basically. You might upgrade in 10 years, but it, there's no consumability whatsoever. And remember how much emphasis we put on consumption? It's so important that it's it's critical to have. Okay, so let's just move on. Let's not make a big deal out of it. Let's go to the next one. Okay, uh, what does the U stand for? The U is for unique. <clears throat> is a home security device unique? Well, that can be an argument. There might be different features and you know benefits of different products, but they're pretty much similar. You know, they do the same job. You got your little code you put in to get in the house. You turn it off. It's the same kind of thing. And you know, some are fancier than others, but it's pretty much. You know, you're not going to have a lot of features that are different from company to company. Maybe you're shopping price, and that may be more considering uh, value than than unique qualities. How about traditional? Yes. Absolutely. Home security device has been sold for years. As a matter of fact, NSA, before they sold water filters, they sold home security devices. It was just, you know, something they did. Uh, that's NSA, National Safety Associates. That's what they stand for. Safety. Now, they're now. what are they selling now? They did home security. Then they did water filters. What are they selling now? I'm not going to give it away. I'll tell you at the end of the call. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big secret. Okay, so the, the T, what does the T stand for? <clears throat> traditional. The first T is traditional. Is the home security traditional? Oh, we already talked about it. Yes, it is. Valuable. Absolutely worth its price. At what price can you put on your family safety? Absolutely, it's valuable. <clears throat> Timely? Absolutely. Everybody needs home security. People are cocooning, as Faith Popcorn says. They're, they're drawing into their households. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they want security. They want safety. They want safety for their families. You might have grandparents that are willing to foot the bill for a security system for their grand babies you know protect them and is it stable yes it should be stable into the future um, it should be a pretty stable industry for home security items so where does it fall down it falls down in the C and maybe in the U but big time in the C okay so let's go to the next one let's talk about telecommunications emotional we already talked about how telecom is really not that emotional you get a call through AT&T or a call through Sprint it's really not going to make that big a difference. Um, you you really, the quality, you know, you might say, oh, I can totally tell the difference in the quality. You can't. It's the same lines, folks. You're fooling yourself if you think there's a difference in quality between two major carriers because they're using the same lines. It may be some coincidence. You had a little, you know, a little bit of static one day on one line or the other, but it just doesn't work that way. Maybe if you're going through your cable, you know, might be possibly, but you know, in cable, you're going to get pretty good quality too. Pretty much, it's not an issue. It's it's not you you know, it's not an emotional appeal product. Um, consumable, yes, highly consumable. It's a utility. Although I will say this, it's consumable on a completely different level than maybe uh, um, an industry like nutritional supplements or personal care products or things like that, because telecom is so inexpensive these days. That it consumes, yes, but you know, I, I pay, I believe, twenty, twenty to twenty-five dollars a month for unlimited long distance in North America plus my phone. So how much money of that is actually going to the telecom? I don't know, probably ten bucks, fifteen. I don't know. It's cheap. It's, I, I think actually it's more like thirty. But you know, fifteen to the phone, fifteen to the telecom. That's nothing. I call unlimited long distance in North America. I'm on the phone all the time. So yeah, it's it's um. You know, it's it, it it it's not much of a consumption. It, there is consumability every month, but it's not real big. And we'll talk about that when it comes to value. Um, is it unique? Well, no, it's it's not it's not a very unique uh, uh, product. Um, you might argue that there might be some services that are unique, but for the most part, telecoms telecom. Traditional, yes, absolutely. It's been sold for years and years through direct sales. Is it valuable? Absolutely. It's probably one of the most valuable products out there, especially this flat rate long distance. If you're not on flat rate long distance and you're a network marketer, you, you, you really need to look into it because you're losing tons and tons of money. Well, you might not do a lot of calls. So if you're not doing a lot of calls, then you're probably not prospecting enough. You need to be doing those calls. If you get flat rate long distance, that will encourage you to do a lot of long distance prospecting because there's no cost to it. Flat rate. All you can 
and, and a lot of it's voice over IP, a lot of it's internet, but you can't even tell anymore. You absolutely can't tell the difference between VoIP or regular long distance. It's amazing. It's amazing how, how good it is. Now, yeah, three, four years ago, it was horrible. It was echoey and, you know, you could definitely tell. Not anymore. Um, telecom, how about with, um, is the product timely? Well, I look at the industry of telecom, and, and when I say telecom, I mean flat, you know, dial one outbound long distance service from your home phone, not cell phone service, not not uh, any kind of um, you know satellite service. I'm talking about copper wire here. Are we even going to have copper wire in 10 years, 20 years? Are we even going to have a home phone that plugs into the wall? I don't think so. I don't think. I think the direction we're going is cellular and satellite. 10 years from now, we're all going to be doing satellite phones. Why would we need copper wire? Why would we need something plugging into the wall? Maybe something with a little more bandwidth, maybe something that requires a, a fiber optics, you know, some wide bandwidth, but not a phone. Phone doesn't need that. Phone can be handled through satellite. I have friends with satellite phones. I have people that I do business with that have satellite phones. They can text from, you know, they can text message you from a polar ice cap in the middle of Antarctica. Um, they can they can text you from the middle of the Sahara Desert because it's 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 satellites bouncing off of satellites. It doesn't need any wire, it doesn't need any cell phone tower. Okay, so yeah, it's going bye bye. So telecom well I actually was getting into stability. T timely, you know, timing's not great because it's kind of going down and stability absolutely bad. So I definitely have to give a couple of thumbs down on the telecom industry when you put it against Aaron's wealth formula because it just doesn't look good for telecom in the future. And I, I would have many different network marketing um, consultants that I work with corroborate that and, and, and agree with that. Travel. Okay, let's talk a little bit about travel. Is it emotional? Highly, yes, absolutely. Everybody loves travel. They get excited. It, you know, it's not something like, oh, oh I'm cured of my uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It's not that kind of emotional. It's more of an emotional of, hey, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have a break. It's more kind of a fleeting temporary type fund, but it is very powerful and very emotional, very emotional. So travel is very high on the, on the emotional rating. How about uh, consumable? Not so much. Travel, uh, people don't travel on a monthly basis, weekly basis. They travel maybe on an annual basis. If you get into a travel program, you might travel more often, like quarterly, but the people that you're trying to sell the travel packages to still don't. So unless they're recruited in underneath you and they're giving incentives to go on tra trips every three months, I, I just feel that it's not a real consumable industry. It's a fleeting type of thing, and whenever there's any terrorist activity anywhere, all of a sudden it dries up. So kind of this, it's very um, fleeting. The consumability factor is up and down. It's it's not reliable. Unique. Um, well, it, that's real debatable. Unique tr on travel packages Yes, you can put together some unique packages, but really it, it comes down to shopping price and uh, you know being able to find the specific hotel or specific resort that you want. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of different factors here, but I'd have to say that it's not necessarily um, the most unique industry out of all the industries. Traditional, absolutely, yes. We've been selling travel for years and years, so it's a very traditional industry. Valuable, yes. Most of these travel companies offer phenomenal packages and I'm telling you some of them are great I mean especially when you get in as an agent and you become one of these you know tra travel agents you can become uh, qualified to go on fam trips familiarization trips where you you go to the hotels for like 25 percent their normal cost or free in some cases maybe you have to go listen to the pitch on the timeshare or whatever but value yes you can find values now you have to shop for them make sure you're getting a good value but yes you can you can find some incredible values in travel, especially if you're willing to travel at the last minute, where you're you know filling up a cruise ship or filling up a, a package that did not fill, and they're just offering it like a fire sale on it. So valuable is it? Uh, timely? I would say it's pretty timely. I mean, the baby boomers are getting to that age where they got the money to travel, and yeah, I, I'd say that travel's definitely picking up. And stability factor, I, I would say timing and stability is actually pretty good for travel. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say any complaints about it. The big issue is is the uh, the consumability, consumability factor is real shaky, but time is timely, it's stable, and so it is an industry that we're going to see. It's not necessarily going to be the big booming um, number one industry, but it is something that we will see um, making its presence known in 
in the network marketing industry. 